Elon Musk and Gwen Shortwell, the duo behind SpaceX. Elon Musk's SpaceX is currently worth over $100 billion, and they didn't just become worth that much by just existing. SpaceX has done some extraordinary things that most companies and nations can only imagine doing. And if we would ask you who's responsible for this huge success, you would probably answer Elon Musk. And yes, you're right, but there is one silent mastermind that many people overlook, Gwen Shortwell. Throughout the leadership of this dynamic duo, these two have led the company into doing great things. But what most people do not know is the trials and challenges that they face to make all of this possible. To understand how Gwen Shortwell is responsible for a big part of SpaceX's success, let us first take a quick look at her history and how she came in touch with Elon Musk. Gwen Shortwell was just a normal lady up until she attended a panel discussion held by a mechanical engineer at the Illinois Institute of Technology. This is when she realized her passion for engineering. Shortly afterwards, she went on and studied for a Bachelor of Science and Mechanical Engineering at Northwestern University where she got her degree. She then studied a Master of Science in Applied Mathematics shortly after. However, even with all this, it took her quite some time to come up to where she is as an engineer. Shortwell's first job was in the automotive industry where she worked at Chrysler Corporation's management training program. She enjoyed it but soon grew tired of it. In 1988, after graduating, she was hired by the Aerospace Corporation and worked at the El Segundo Research Center. This is where she got her first real experience in the scientific world. While here, she did technical work on military space research and development contracts for the United States government. As part of the Aerospace Corporation, Gwen got a chance to work on the live space mission, the STS-39, which was the code name for the 12th name for the Discovery Space Shuttle. She gained a lot of experience and she worked in both space systems engineering and project management positions, which would form the foundation of her future success. Ten years later, Shortwell left the corporation and joined Microcosm Incorporated, where she became the director of the space system division. Microcosm Inc. specializes in space launch systems and composing building materials for spacecrafts. Being a member of the executive committee, she learned a lot about managing an aerospace company. She was also responsible for business development, which is important in keeping a company afloat. The stakes were extremely high, especially because aerospace companies require so much capital to keep operations running smoothly. During this time, she met Elon Musk, all thanks to Hans Cohen Eggsman, a fellow Microcosm colleague. Elon Musk had already left PayPal and was looking for something else that he could venture in. This led him to found SpaceX in 2002 with the aim of lowering the cost of launching spaceships through proprietary engines and other key components. Shortwell was impressed by how Musk explained everything and she was most impressed by the practicality of his ideas. She convinced Musk to hire a full-time employee who would look after the company's business development. Little did she know that she would become that employee. Two weeks later, Musk approached her and asked her to join him in this venture. By this time, she had a long list of considerations that she had to take seriously at the age of 40, including the great business risk involved. This made her decision to join SpaceX even harder. According to Shotwell herself, she called Musk and said, look, I've been an idiot and I'm going to take the job. And just through that one phone call, Elon Musk and Gwen Shortwell started working together. People say that Shortwell's expertise and experience working with government aerospace firms helped SpaceX make a lot of progress. Those people are not wrong. At the time SpaceX was taking off, the global space industry was feeling a little uneasy, with US, EU and Russian aerospace projects moving slower than expected. The parties involved refused things to change or any other entity apart from themselves to do so. Elon Musk had very little knowledge of the political terrain. However, Shortwell was familiar with it, given that she'd worked with government space agencies for more than a decade. Musk needed someone with the boldness he had. He also needed someone who was familiar and could navigate through the political terrain surrounding the aerospace industry. SpaceX gave Gwen some sort of freedom that she had never had in her previous workplace. For example, all her previous workplaces would restrict her on what she could say during presentations. They also had many bureaucratic planning phases. However, at Elon Musk's SpaceX, things are different. In his management, if there is a realistic action plan or tangible work, then that is what they concentrate on. 
The SpaceX team gained great credibility and recognition in 2006 under the leadership of Musk and Shortwell. They only had about 80 employees during this time, but NASA gave them a very important contract. They were to develop a vehicle to refuel the International Space Station, ISS. This contract was won by a superb business-orientated presentation by Shortwell. This made Shortwell get promoted to president of the company and eventually the company's executive leader apart from Elon Musk himself. SpaceX succeeded in this contract in 2012. In the same year, SpaceX's Dragon capsule docked at the International Space Station, which made SpaceX the first ever privately owned aerospace company to accomplish this. SpaceX had also been developing and building their Falcon rocket, which was Gwen's brainchild. In 2003, she was able to pitch a successful funding grant to the US military to help with the rocket's construction and design. Following a number of failures over the years, Shortwell's success would ultimately ensure the Falcon's overall success in 2015. It took a lot of determination from both Musk and Shortwell to get through these expensive failures and keep their employees motivated to build up the success of Dragon and Falcon 9. Shortwell's contributions would usher in the era of non-disposable rockets, which is still in its early stages. Another instance of Gwen Shortwell's talents and contracts benefiting Elon Musk greatly was when SpaceX was able to get an exclusive long-term lease for a rocket launch site at Kennedy Space Center from NASA. This is the same site where the American astronauts that landed on the moon launched from. It is currently one of the most crucial areas at SpaceX's disposal, all made possible by Shortwell's skills. Owing to his chemistry and computer science education, Musk is a leader who often focuses on the more technical side of projects and plans. Despite his great management and business talents, he has needed Stockwell to help him through challenges in the firm that he could not deal with. Charles Bolden, the former NASA administrator said, I very seldom deal with Elon because Gwen ran the company. Gwen has gained much praise for serving as the mediator for Elon Musk. She has also made sure that he has made the right political and diplomatic choices in order to get licensing approvals and fundings. In addition, we can say that she is sort of a public relations advisor for Musk. Her friendliness and diligence with Musk made sure that she rose to be one of the most trusted employees. Shortwell is the only other company official who can clear press statements herself and represent Musk at launch sites. She shared with CNBC that she loved working for Elon and said that he is a great boss who is funny, fair and an inspirational leader. Which shows how close they are and how passionate they are at making SpaceX one of the greatest companies in the aerospace industry. Such transparency and trust between top officials results in good business leadership and therefore maximum benefits to the company. There is no doubt that the working relationship between the two will lift SpaceX and make it one of the best and largest companies if they are not already in the aerospace industry. What do you think of the journey that these two have been on? Do you think that they can achieve what they are aiming at? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and ring the bell to get more notifications on future videos. Until next time, bye.